Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video yesterday reporting that there was a contradiction in official Microsoft documentation regarding the minimum system requirements um, that you would need to upgrade to Windows 11 when it rolls out later this year. And as many of you know, Windows uh, 11 is a free upgrade um, for users of Windows 10. And that, is, of course, is if your current hardware supports the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. And in that documentation in my video I posted yesterday, it was made clear that it was possible, but Microsoft didn't recommend it, that you, you could upgrade to Windows 11 even if your device only had TPM 1.2. And um, over on Microsoft's webpage, it said the minimum system requirement for TPM was TPM 2. Now, TPM is Trusted Platform Module and is basically just a security chip on in your hardware. Now, after posting that video, you know, and, and obviously um, users discovered the new requirements, including myself, Microsoft now has changed the uh, support docs on Microsoft Docs um, and it now clarifies that TPM2 is a minimum system requirement. So if we just pop over to Microsoft Docs compatibility uh, for Windows 11, yeah, we can see they have made some changes to the hardware requirements, um, uh, minimum hardware requirements for Windows 11. And first of all, I just want to point out at the bottom note, this article has been updated to correct the guidance around the TPM requirements for Windows 11. And here we can see, you know, it's all basically the same. And yeah, you can see system firmware, trusted platform module, TPM version 2, where yesterday this said version 1.2. And over on the Microsoft website, it said version 2. Now, um, according to Microsoft, all their documentation now reflects that um, TPM version 2 is now required. So they have cleared up that contradiction as they state here at the bottom. And also here, yeah, if we click on, you know, 64-bit um, uh, processor, which is um, you would need to upgrade to uh, Windows 11 as 32-bit processors are no longer supported. If we click on that, it takes us to Windows processor requirements. And I'm glad they've put this in now because there's been quite a bit of confusion regarding what uh, processes are supported in Windows 11. And yeah, you can see Windows 11, yeah, they have now supported AMD processors, Intel processors, and Qualcomm processors. And what I'll do is I will leave a link to um, the these uh, uh, requirements and what processes you will be able to, uh, you, you need to have to upgrade to Windows 11. I will leave a link to these in the description box down below if you are interested. And I'll also leave a link in the description box below to the video I posted yesterday, so you can just know what I'm talking about to compare the two documents, because obviously now the document has been changed and doesn't reflect 1.2 anymore on their hardware requirements. It's, it is now TPM version 2. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.